right, guys. So I'm gonna go pick up my friend Danny. Just give me one second, all right? Bang, bang. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's Daniel. I'm Brandon's friend. We're both uh, about to go get a gym pump. <laughs> we're about to go to fitness time, and we're gonna get a nice little pump. What he said. Should we keep that or should we do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so there's construction being done right next to me, so I have to scream for this part. But this is where my discourse community takes place. The gym is called Fitness Time. This is where me and my buddies, we go to meet up, we go to train. And, uh, and yeah, we meet a lot of social people over here. And you know, it's just a great overall experience. So I'm going to take you guys inside and see and show you guys how it looks like. Alright, what's up guys? So here's a buddy of mine, Joao. He goes to the gym with me. And so he's going to be showing you guys an exercise that he's doing right now. So this is a shoulder press. This is great for strength. Helps you increase the strength for your shoulders. And yeah, pick it up. Put your back against the seat. All the way down to the bottom of your chin. And you want to go slow. That's like my max right there. You said what? That's my max right there. That's, that's your max? I can't do that. 25 pounds? <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm going to take you guys upstairs and upstairs they have like a bunch of cardio machines and they actually have a boxing room. So I'm going to showcase that and then uh, yeah. yeah, so right over here they're doing maybe like a Zumba class or like a bodyweight class. I'm not exactly sure what this is. So our gym hosts daily workouts and uh, you know they have a personal trainer there. And actually on, on their actual app they actually have a schedule that tells you what they do every single day. And so this is one of the forms that we use to actually know what we're going to train or you know the availabilities of the gym to the times we could actually come in. And you go over here to my bookings. My bookings you could book. Um, you know, one-on-one -on -one trainings with uh, personal trainers, and then over here you have spinning class, boot camp, stretcher mobility, Zumba, and it has you know all the days of the week, and it tells you the times that the gym's open. So yeah, this is one of the forms of communication or text that we use in our discourse community. All right, guys. So I'm gonna explain to you what a discourse community actually is. A discourse community is a discourse community. A discourse community is a community of people who share. You need help. Give me one second. <laughs> so a discourse community is pretty much a group of people that share the same discourse. So yeah, everybody that comes in here has one common goal is to get fit and you know just better themselves on a daily basis. So a discourse community also has you know certain forms of communication, which as I showcased is me and my friends group chat. The actual gym actually has a website and an application where you can check you know the types of availability, you can select personal trainers. Um, you can also see the classes that they're hosting as well and certain events and updates. Uh, certain discourse communities have abbreviations and acronyms and slangs that are used inside of the actual discourse community that people from the outside actually don't know. But I'm going to be showcasing that a little further on in the video. Hi guys, today we're going to be training chest. Yes, it's a chest day. So one of the most iconic exercises for chest is the bench press. And right now I'm going to try a PR. If you guys don't know what a PR is, it stands for personal record. In other words, I'm trying the heaviest weight I can at the moment. Oh wait, I forgot, I actually have to warm up. So let me warm up, start with the bar. The bar is 45 pounds. Yeah. Right, guys, I am very warmed up now. I'm a lot stronger than you think. So here we're gonna be doing 185. All right guys, pray Wish for me. luck guys, come on. Come on man, get it up, come on man, get it up. Come on, get it up. That was 185 easily. I'm kind of getting a pump right now. If you guys don't know what a pump is, I don't know what is a pump actually. <laughs> So pump is a very loose term that a lot of people use. Pump can be, you know, you're getting a really good workout, you're enthusiastic about your workout, or what pump actually means is that you're getting a lot of blood flow through your actual muscle. So, you know, when you hit like a heavy lift, all the blood is just going, you know, it's just circulating throughout your muscle, and that's when you get the pump sensation. Dude, why are you marrying me, bro? What do you mean? Dude, why are you marrying me, bro? Stop. So mirroring means pretty much it's short for admiration. When someone is saying, why are they mirroring me? 
it's because they're admiring you. Does that make sense? I it doesn't it make does. sense. Can you clarify that? Can you clarify that it, just a tad bit more? It's when someone is just in awe of your body. So it's when someone's just okay. So someone's just looking at you is what. Right. They, okay. 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 So it's like admir admiring you. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Like admiration. Okay. So that's another terminology. Exactly. So how many do we have this video? We have three, right? We have three. Okay. All right, guys. So right over here, as you guys can see, it's the gym rules and etiquette. So this is one of our texts that we have here in our Discord community. So this pretty much, you know, just explains all the gym rules that you have to follow. And uh, you know, a lot of people, it's second like nature to them. A lot of people already know these rules, so it's just common sense. But yeah, these are the rules that we have to follow. Let me explain a little bit about, about code switching. <laughs> code switching actually does take place in our discourse community. A lot of people speak informally, a lot of people speak Spanish, a lot of people speak Russian. You know, it's a very diverse community that we have here. And so, you know, a lot of people speak informally, uh, you know, like buddies, you know, just loose terminology, and a lot of people speak different languages. So, in our discourse community, there is uh, code switching. Do you know what code switching is? Oh. Alright guys, so we just finished up our chest workouts, so we're gonna head out of here. Alright, Rob, we'll catch you later.